I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy, we have Justice and it's with the Page of Swords. Now Justice actually deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Because sometimes, sometimes we could be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Now it's with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it could represent someone who's younger than you. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that means student, youth, immaturity. Yeah, it does indicate that there's a message coming in. Now in this instance, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. Because it's a page, and this page has a huge sword in its hand. So, it tells us that this person could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might need to study their body language, and consider how well you do, or do not accept constructive criticism. So basically, Cancer, the recent past energy, between you and a person, page of swords clarified by this justice. So you were dealing with someone that was on the immature side. This person probably brought a lot of conflict to the connection. They did silly stuff, things that you did not appreciate. This person could have also kept tabs on you. Maybe they stalked you, did a lot of watching you. Yeah, page of swords. There is a level of immaturity with this person. And the things that they did to you or the things that they did in the connection, you didn't appreciate. And it did bring about some type of clarity or truth to a lot of situations. Um, some things might have came to light. Um, whatever they did to you that you didn't feel was right. You might be, so for some of you, you're the type that, that's feeling or thinking that justice needs to be served. You could be thinking that their day will come when they get theirs. Some of you are just waiting for some truth to come to light. Or, or waiting for them to get theirs because they've done some silly stuff to you in the connection. Yeah, and you're just thinking, wow, it'll be okay. Their day will come when justice will be served. That's what you're, that's what a lot of you are thinking. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Six of Pentacles. And it's with the Moon card. Now the Six of Pentacles, it's a sign for the turn for the better. A sign of a turn for the better. Well, it could be with regards to money because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive pinnacles. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So when you get the six of pinnacles, you're about to be heading into a positive cycle. Yeah, not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole complete cycle. Six of Pentacles. It's often a card about generosity, meaning you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. Now, it's with the Moon card. The Moon card, you could feel psychic and intuitive more than usual. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. 
Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut instincts. Also, if you're waiting on an answer from someone, unfortunately, it may take longer than you would like for it to. So you have to try to stay patient when you get the moon card. So, cancer coming up for you and your person, Six of Pentacles. Clarified by the moon. So, what I'm picking up is that, yeah, whoever this um, page is, I'm guessing for a lot of you, it was a love interest. Like I said, they did a lot of silly stuff you didn't appreciate. And you were just waiting on their day to come for justice to be served. For them to get back what they gave out to you. But it looks like they could be reaching out to you. It's possible with the Six of Pentacles here. Maybe trying to do something nice. Because the Six of Pentacles, like I said, it could be about generosity. Maybe they're trying to, take you, trying to take you out or maybe treating you really nice, buying you nice things. But you're not trusting it because the Moon card is showing up here. You could feel like this person is wearing a mask. They're being deceptive. Yeah, you don't trust it. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Three of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this Three of Swords, there's an element of sorrow that's undeniable when you get this card. But what's on the other side can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that comes up. This way you can move past it. This card, it can point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. If you deny pain, it does not make it go away. So, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. Okay, so, it's with the Will of Fortune. The Will of Fortune, it's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. As that too, like everything else, changes. Live in the now. Count your blessings. And just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But that's okay. Roll with the changes and think positive. Yeah, so for your challenge, Three of Swords, clarified by the Will of Fortune. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that, yeah, with the Three of Swords, I'm just getting a download here. You, you're feeling that it will be too difficult to, to go forward with this person. The Three of Swords can mean you're closing yourself off. You could be shutting this person out. And you're rejecting them. And you could also be hurt by some things that they did or said. So it looks like you might decide to sever ties with this person. And because the Wheel of Fortune is here, you're feeling like you would have better luck elsewhere. Point blank. So... Let's move on over 
And let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Four of, no, four of wands is with the four, it's with the five of swords. The four of wands. Well, that one's pretty straightforward, the four of wands. That's a marriage and commitment card. It's about celebrating. It says, it says, it says 11-11, if you could see it. Four of wands is a card above the word outcome. And below it is the five of swords. Now, the five of swords, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life in general, maybe a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you got to speak every word that you're thinking. And feeling eager because... This could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and with your lover. So you have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. So basically, cancer your outcome. Four of Wands, clarified by this Five of Swords. So, yeah, like I said, you're sh sh shutting down this Three of Swords. You have some um, hurt feelings. And you've been hurt by this person. That's what the Three of Swords can be about. It just doesn't look like you're trying to go back there, but they could be reaching out to you, trying to be nice. And like I said, maybe do nice things for you. You feel, you don't trust it. You feel like there's deception. You feel like you have better luck elsewhere. With the will of fortune in your favor. Yeah. So, the outcome, this five of swords, your person is mad. I don't know if you can see the details of his face. But if you put the camera on full. I mean, not the camera, but if you put your device for your screen on full. You can see his face. He's really pissed. Five of Swords is a card below the word outcome. Yeah, this man, he has two swords in his hand. And he has three on the ground. And he'll pick them up and use them as, if he has to. Or if he just decides to. He's really mad. Uh, there were some people sitting there at that fire. And once they got a glimpse of him, they all scrammed. And now those wolves or dogs in front of them, they're just now getting a, a glimpse of them, and they're about to scram also. So your person is steaming mad that they cannot get back in your good graces. Yeah, you're, you're closing off to them. You feel like they, they will bring nothing but heartbreak yeah and because this four of wands is here it looks like they they might want to turn things around That's, they might want to make things more committed but it looks like you're just shutting down you're rejecting them yeah you're hurt by a lot of the things that they did and Thank God the Wheel of Fortune is here. You're feeling lucky elsewhere. So that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you do know, general readings say, do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading, I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope that um, you all are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. 
just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles can be, they can be reversed. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend or a family member or a certain situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because these are general readings and not personal readings. So Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.